Houston, we have a problem. And the problem is our water heater tank plug. But I'm going to show you how to fix it. First is the problem. See this here? This portion of the plug broke off of there. And why did that happen? Well, I'll tell you why it happened. It happened because I bought these cheap ass plugs off of Amazon. Uh, couldn't get them at Camping World or anything and um, bought them off of Amazon and uh, Every, it's not, and I know some of you are going to say, oh, you tighten it too much and all that. No, I know how to tighten them, and it's not that. They've cracked, and actually, they've cracked just sitting in the package. And now, but this becomes a problem because how do you get it out? Okay, this part of it right here, this section, uh, is broken off inside. Okay, but we have a solution we're going to show you. All right. So what we have is this guy. It's an easy out or a, um, or I call it a, well, we call it an easy out. Um, but it's a, a nipple extractor. Um, it's typically used on pipes and things like that. This is a nylon uh, cap, basically. It's not even nylon, it's not real nylon. And the problem with these, these cheap ones that I bought off of Amazon, come to find out they came from, they're made in China, which most everything is, uh, but they're not, uh, the heat on these get to them. And just the heat of these things sitting in my, in my truck, because I keep spares, um, they just broke, they're just brittle, they're falling apart. Now, I bought these things off of Amazon. Um, they're probably three months old. Okay, um, roughly, give or take. Uh, that shouldn't happen. So, uh, basically, what we're going to do with this easy out is we've got a socket that goes on to our easy out like this. We've got an extender. We're going to tap this in here and then hopefully back it out okay. If not, I've got to do it in stages. But um, the bad thing, uh, one of the negatives that I've got to be real careful of is I have a uh, Dometic uh, water heater here um, and uh, uh, it's an aluminum tank. Uh, so those threads as aluminum is very, very soft. So we got to be real careful. Okay, so I've got a pipe that's blocking this, but you're not going to be able to see it too well. But we're going to stick this in here a couple of wraps with a hammer and try to get it to connect or jam it in there pretty good. Alright. We're going to attach it with a ratchet. So we had to change out the extractors. Uh, the inside diameter of these nylon plugs are not true, or the same size of standard steel pipes, which is what these extractors are made for. Uh, these extractors are readily available at Home Depot or Lowe's in the plumbing section. I suggest you keep a set of these on your rig. There you have it, it's out. Hopefully you never run into this problem, but if you do, uh, you know how to resolve it without having to go to the dealership. Please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.